still with the vibes, uh, dear viewers, of the uh, Fort Worth uh, World Youth Forum being held in the city of peace, the city of Sharm el-Sheikh, and uh, where topics like the COVID impacts, climate change, social security, entrepreneurship, digital transformation, the future of energy, and human rights are being discussed. And with us now live over the phone from Sharm el-Sheikh, uh, is one of the organizers uh, of uh, the event and a professor of international law, uh, uh, Dr. Norhan Musa. A very good morning to you, uh, Dr. Norhan, and thank you for joining Night TV International. Uh, good morning. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being with us. Now, um, uh, Dr. Norhan, human rights is one of the main topics uh, being discussed at the WYF. Uh, um, you're a professor of international law, so I guess this uh, comes into your bracket. Uh, tell us about the specific areas that, are be that have been discussed uh, so far uh, and, the, um, and the agenda of the discussions and the potential recommendations that could come out uh, and can serve uh, um, uh, the, uh, our youth uh, all around uh, the globe from Sharm el-Sheikh. Uh, yes, as you know, like uh, the World Just Forum is a kind of uh, a huge platform ho ho which is uh, built by a promising Egyptian news to, uh, to increase and exchange of views and recommendations, uh, share that with the uh, decision makers, uh, as well as like uh, decreasing uh, the, the gap and uh, enhancing the dialogue. So um, we were having uh, the preparatory uh, workshops before the uh, the starting yesterday of the of the World Youth Forum, but yesterday we were having a kind of a main session that took place uh, in the capital, uh, attended by uh, several presidents across the globe, and of course by uh, His Excellency President Abdel Fattah Sisi. And uh, this session was focused on uh, uh, humanity, kind of alert to humanity, uh, as well as a new hope, as uh, His Excellency usually mentioned and highlight that in, 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 in every challenge there is always a hope that we can uh, take it to another level. So uh, yesterday we, ha we were having this session uh, uh, by kind of uh, different uh, discussions made by uh, heads of uh, countries and states as well as UN heads. Uh, we're also uh, participating. And, uh, and uh, by, by the end of the day, we were having kind of um, opening for the theater where uh, the theater is part of an important and initial part of the One Youth Forum. Uh, as you know, uh, music and art is usually um, the, 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 the language that we are, the, the globe agreed across. Yes. Uh, Dr. Norhan, uh, being one of the organizers, uh, uh, could you tell us about the safety, the precautionary measures that are being taken uh, to fight against any potential uh, um, uh, COVID-19 case? Uh, yes, um, I can say that uh, having kind of a forum at that time after uh, the lockdown and uh, we still having countries across the globe still facing kind of uh, challenges uh, post to the COVID, uh, we were very pleased and honored to organize such an event, a huge one with, uh, with taking all the precautions, the measures aligned with the international standard and aligned with uh, the uh, precautions by the World uh, uh, Health Organization. Uh, also, we are very uh, uh, caution about all the measures and the social distancing um, uh, also, we can uh, we can say that it was one of the main challenges that every year we have a huge number of applicants and also a huge number of participants. But this year, uh, uh, we decreased this number. Uh, we are not able to um, invite all the people who are applied. Uh, we decreased the number to the minimum, so we can give uh, opportunities to youth we return back for our physical interaction that aligns with uh, uh, our humanity nature. You know, like everyone, we are communicating across the globe uh, in the um, last two years uh, digitally, and this is uh, something uh, we are new to. All the activities we are uh, happening online, 
But uh, I think like all the youth here are very happy uh, with this kind of uh, interaction. So we can see our uh, real uh, expression. We can exchange uh, news and uh, interaction. But all that, as you mentioned, with the all the precautions that, and, and taking all the measures uh, that can protect all our guests and, uh, of course, the organizers as well. Yes, um, uh, Dr. Nurhan, uh, 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 we are one is, is somehow a, a major theme in Sharm el-Sheikh. In fact, uh, the show, the World Youth uh, um, uh, Theater uh, um, uh, performance yesterday at, at the uh, inauguration uh, had a performance called We Are One. Um, so could you elaborate on this theme like uh, back together and we are one and the fact that Egypt, um, the, the country of, uh, of tolerance and, 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 and peace is hosting youth from all, all around the world and how this, you know, uh, uh, um, uh, is acting as a barrier against, uh, in the fight against uh, terrorism as we are all one in this fight against uh, the uh, y y you know, the, the, um, uh, against terrorism. Dr. Norhan, could you hear us? Hello? Dr. Norhan? Well, I, I guess we, we, we've lost uh, uh, the phone call. So, so again, yesterday there was a uh, a show, a performance, as the World Youth Theatre, um, uh, a group of, of youth, of course, a talented youth, uh, had a performance called We Are One, and um, again, the theme back together is, is a main theme here in, um, uh, in Sharm el-Sheikh, uh, uh, and um, the, uh, the topics, we told you about the topics that are being uh, discussed, and um, all of them, you know, come under one mindset. Ah, yeah. So, so we've got Dr. Norhan back. So, Dr. Norhan. Yes. Yeah. Uh, could, could you talk us uh, talk to us about your view uh, uh, on the fact that you know the theme is back together. The the theatrical performance is we are one, and how this serves you know to to beat the idea uh, or the uh, or, or the claim of clash of civilizations. Uh, instead, uh, instead getting youth from all around the world together in one fight one common cause, you know, uh, for prosperity uh, 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 and a fight against terrorism as we all share one destiny naturally as human beings? Uh, sure. Um, it, it, as I told you that uh, uh, the, the day was going around the uh, kind of humanity teller and uh, it was alert to humanity. The COVID was uh, the thing that we experienced it and uh, as I usually say, that there are a lot of countries uh, that failed to adopt with such a COVID and uh, wasn't able to uh, work aligned with their uh, people. However, in Egypt, we were very uh, clear about the uh, virus and um, our wisdom leadership will always uh, take the fears from our hearts. And that was very appearing on, on, on the performance yesterday. And uh, we usually say that this was an experience for our humanity. So on the theater, we were having um, a performance. This performance was really great. It was focused on uh, not only back together as, as after this kind of a challenge, but also that uh, once we experience something that uh, is considered to be a threat to the humanity, to, to the human, we still are the same. So we are acting and we are feeling the same. And... Um, the performance yesterday uh, wasn't uh, only by Egyptian, but also yes. we gathered different nationalities uh, from uh, the globe. And uh, we were, the, the, the performance was really harmonized, giving kind of uh, our shed light about the challenges that we are facing the last two years, uh, the, the fears, uh, uh, the, 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 oh, all the, the, the feelings that we experienced in the last two years were uh, introduced in this uh, performance and uh, by the end uh, they deliver a huge message to humanity that we are all together we should act and cooperate fighting any threat to humanity indeed uh dr uh, norhan musa professor uh, professor 
of International Law and one of the organizers of the WYF talking to us from the city of peace, Sharm el Sheikh, attending the fourth edition of the WYF's um, uh, events. Thank you very much, Dr. Uh, Norhan, for your input uh, and thank you for your time with Nile TV International. Um, dear viewers, as you know, the, the World Youth Forum has become a leading platform for dialogue and communications and a space for exchanging visions among youth from all over uh, the world. Um, and as the president said, the world is now witnessing major challenges at this historic juncture that require more dialogue. Um, and you know what makes the dialogue um, more special is, is that it is between the world's youth, the world's youth gathering here in Egypt. Youth is, uh, represent the future, basically. So um, e Egypt is holding uh, y you know, um, uh, a, a gathering uh, of, uh, of the youth that represent the future of this globe, again, in the city of peace, the city of Sharm el-Sheikh. More about um, the uh, um, uh, activities of the fourth edition of the WYF, which will continue until the 13th of January, here in the breakfast show with my dear colleague, Mahisti Rabia after this short break. Please stay with us. <laughs>